if a mother or a father is obese and that's determined by the genetics that it does get inherited by the child. Sensory genes mm -hmm. related to taste, to smell, they can make us an individual who has more craving for sugary stuff to eat more calorie dense diets. If you are above 35 years of age, your chances at that point of having any metabolic disorder is higher. Gestational diabetes, which is a metabolic disorder that happens specifically during pregnancy, can have an impact on the child's weight. Seventy percent of the kids who are born obese, they continue to stay on the track of obesity as adults too. So that's actually the reason many people will go for your dieting. They fail because they don't understand that their body will actually fight back on the weight loss that had happened. Now I'm like about 93, 92. So almost 30 kilograms lost. And you managed to maintain that weight loss. Yes, correct. But, but once I'm here in the fitness industry, I changed my whole environment to something more healthier. What we found was that the people that were eating food that was matched to the same colour ate about 18% more calories than the people that had the mismatched plate. If you make changes to your lifestyle, then your body can actually settle at a slightly lower weight. According to a National Population Health Survey, in 1992, about 26 in 100 in Singapore were overweight. In 2017, that number increased to about 36 in 100 residents who were overweight. If our waistlines continue to expand, it will cost us more than 1.5 billion US dollars, according to the World Obesity Foundation. That's what it will cost to treat diseases related to obesity down the road.